It's time for the Halfwits. Tonight, the exciting semifinals. And here's the host of the Halfwits, Alex Trebell. Thank you, Johnny Ola. And good evening, everybody. Welcome to Halfwits. Tonight, the semifinals, where the best contestants that have appeared on the show over the past season are teamed up and pitted against each other to see who will end up in our exciting championship round. And as hard as it is to believe, these four people have ended up here tonight. So now let's meet our contestants. Arthur Andrew Ligon. And Arthur, what have you been up to since your last appearance on the show? Oh, I've, you know, I've, I've the usual. Like, uh, like what? Oh, just, um, the usual. The usual what? Uh, stuff. Good. Always a treat chatting with you, Arthur. And, uh, and now let's meet your lucky partner. I met him already. I'm sorry? I met him already, Alex. I know him. We know, Arthur. I thought perhaps the studio audience would, uh, like a chance to, uh, to meet him. Oh. Once again, if that's all right with you. <laughs> let's welcome Wesley Wilkes. Wesley, uh, very nice to have you back. Really? How have you been? Well, not too good, Alex. My, my back's been bothering me. I've got this ache in my lower back. It's terrible. <laughs> like this morning, you know, I was really irritable. The pain was so bad I could barely breathe. Really wonderful. Really nice, Wesley. Uh, good luck to both of you. And now let's meet your opponents. Let's say hello to Blanche Ray Kellogg. Hello? And Blanche, I understand you recently got married. Yes, I did. That is correct, Alex. Um, how long have you been married? Since the wedding, straight through. Who's the lucky guy? My husband. Blanche, can we expect to hear the pitter-patter of little Ray Kellogg feet in the future? I don't understand, Alex. Are you planning to have kids, children? No, I'm afraid not, Alex. I'm going to concentrate on my career. And what is that? Housewife and hopefully mother. Mm hmm Excellent choice. Blanche Ray Kellogg. And finally, Lawrence Orbach. Righto, Alex. And Lawrence, I understand that uh, congratulations are in order. Yes, they are. Would you care to tell us why? No, not, not sure. Did you not just graduate from high school? Yes, I, I think I did. Congratulations. Lawrence, so you're not possibly considering college, are you? Yes and no, Alex. I'm considering offers from Harvard. And they have a fine football team, Alex, but I'm not exactly sure where Harvard is, so yeah. I don't know how I would make any of the games. Very, very good. And now I think it's time to get down to the business of playing Halfwits. And quite simply, here's how the semifinals work. Each team gets to pick a category, out of which comes a mystery word, which one player has to convey to his partner by using up to three words to describe it. For example, if the mystery word is baseball, one might use these three words to describe it. Pitch, hit, slide. Now, each team has one minute to guess as many mystery words as they can. However, if they guess incorrectly, that same mystery word goes to the other team who can use the remaining time to chalk up as many points for themselves as they can. Now, each mystery word is worth five points, and the team ahead on points at the end of the first round gets to pick the category for the following round. The team ahead at the end of three rounds gets to play our fast lightning round, where each mystery word is worth 50 points with only a 30-second time limit. Now, any questions? Yes, Arthur. Do you have the time, Alex? <laughs> time is uh, 8.35. Thank you. Alex? Alex? Yes, Lawrence. Alex, if the word baseball comes up, can we use the same words that you just used? Well, Lawrence, uh, I was just using that as an example. I don't think the word baseball will come up. Yes, but Alex, if it comes up... Then yes, yes, you can use the same three words that I used. Because those are good words, pitch, hit, slide. Lawrence, we have to move on. Right. Team Captain Arthur Andrew Liggett, confer with your partner and pick a category. Um, I don't know what, what you want. Wait, wait. Kind of looks good. Um, um, Arthur, we need a category. Okay. 
Arthur, we need a category. All right. Um, um, well, all right. Um, oh, um, favorite pets. Favorite pets is the category. Arthur and Wesley, you have one minute and go. Arthur, you're wasting valuable time here. <laughs> well, no points on that. Uh, Arthur would have helped if you had said something just to help your partner out. The word was Lassa Absa. You could have said dog, Tibet, short. No points on that. And uh, Lawrence and Blanche, the door is wide open here. Pick a category. Well, Alex, I've always had a soft spot for airplanes. So we'll go with Frank Lloyd Wright. Frank Lloyd Wright uh, is the category. Uh, Blanche and Lawrence, you have one minute and go. Cockpit. Cockpit? <laughs> Sorry, that answer is incorrect. No points on that. Um, please keep your category in mind when giving the clues. It uh, really helps. Now, because of that incorrect answer, Arthur and Wesley, you can complete that round. Wesley, the word is yours and go. Functional. <laughs> Cockfight. Um, I'm sorry, no points on that. That was uh, very, very wrong. Now, I'm only going to say this once. Please listen to me, contestants. You can't just repeat the word that's on the card. You have to describe it so your partner can guess it. And Lawrence Frank Lloyd Wright was not one of the Wright brothers. He was an architect. Uh, please, if you have any questions about your category, ask them up front. We can save everybody a lot of time. All right? Does everybody understand? Yes, Arthur. Who's ahead at this point, Alex? Nobody! <laughs> Is ahead on points? We haven't had a correct answer yet. Nobody's ahead. And uh, let's just calm down here at this point and collect your little thoughts. And uh, Johnny Ola, tell our viewers at home what our contestants could win tonight on Halfwits. Well, Alex, tonight on Halfwits, one of our teams could win a brand new stereo record cleaner. The soft, but durable record cleaner brush acts magically to keep your stereo record collection dust from it free. Just one wipe with this priceless little item removes dust and foreign particles that settle on your records, giving them longer life and a look that smells brand new. Yes, save money by keeping your records in vintage condition with the new record cleaner brush by Rush. Rush, they're the brush people. Back to you, Alex. Thank you, Johnny Ola. And ladies and gentlemen, because our teams are stalemated at zero right now and the chances of getting a correct answer seem dismal at this point, to say the least. I have decided to flip a coin to see which team will go into our lightning round. So we'll now call on our team captains, Lawrence Orbach and Arthur Andrew Liggett, to step forward for the coin toss. Gentlemen, are you ready? Ready, ready Alex. Alex. Okay, call it while it's in the air, please. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. You go first. You go first. Doesn't matter who goes first. Just call the coin while it's in the air. Okay, here we go. Alex? <laughs> yes, Arthur? I forgot what those things are. What things? Um, you know, those things. What things? Uh, the things on the coin. Heads and tails. A little slow upstairs, uh, Alex. <laughs> Just call it while it's in the air. It's really not that difficult. Here we go. Heads. Heads. You can't both call heads. You see, one person calls heads, the other person calls tails. That's all there is to it, okay? Call it while it's in the air, please. Here we go. Okay. Heads. You said heads last time. All right, return to your seats. Does it matter which seats we go back to? I don't care, just return to your seats. Here we go. I will, please. And uh, we're out of time. No winners, no surprise, no correct answers. What else is new? So until next time, if indeed there is a next time, this is Alex Trevell saying good night. Tails. Tails, Alex. Tails, Alex. Tails, Alex. Tails? Okay. Okay. And you three. Tails, Alex. Alex, Alex look. I'm pushing the button. Hey, Alex. Alex. Alex.